Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and today's video is brought to you by Fair and Up. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to prepare crepes. We're gonna prepare kind of the classic, traditional European style, and we're gonna prepare the sort of American style of both a sugar crepe and a Nutella crepe. And I got a surprise recipe for you. I'm gonna show you how to make Nutella from scratch. So let's get to it. Okay, so in this video, like I said, we're gonna we're going to prepare crepes. I'm gonna show you kind of like the traditional crepe and more of American style kind of crepe. It's really, I mean, the crepe itself is the same. It's really just how you kind of fill it and what you do to it after you actually make the crepe. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you how to make Nutella from scratch. So let's get to that. So the first thing that you need to do to make this homemade Nutella is you need to take your hazelnuts and you need to roast them. So the, as you can see, the hazelnuts have this like little thin kind of skin on them, just like most nuts do. So we need to roast them so that'll be really easy to peel off. Also that toasted hazelnut is what's gonna add that nice flavor to the homemade Nutella. So I've added them to the baking sheet. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. It's at 350 degrees. I'm gonna roast them for about 10 minutes just so they get nice and toasty and can easily peel off that skin. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the hazelnuts have roasted. It just smells really wonderfully nutty in here right now. It's, it's amazing. So I'm very excited to make this Nutella. So the hazelnuts have roasted. So now I'm just gonna go and remove the skins. It's really simple. So you just wanna take the hazelnuts. Obviously you wanna wait for them to cool a little bit so you can actually touch them. So take the hazelnuts, just kind of between both hands and rub your hands together. That friction is actually gonna help remove that skin. So that skin has been dried out from baking in the oven. So just this action will kind of pull the skin off and then you'll just have the peeled hazelnut afterwards. So just do all those. And when that's done, we're gonna add our hazelnuts to our food processor. and just puree that until they're like really, really, really finely ground up. Now we need to melt the chocolate. So this is really super, super simple. I just do it in the microwave. You don't actually need a double boiler. Just take your chocolate, put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, take it out, mix it around, run it for another 10 seconds. You just keep doing that until it's fully microwaved. And there you go melted chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of oil. And you wanna use a neutral oil in this capacity because you don't wanna have any sort of like strong olive oil or any, you know, you don't want anything that's gonna like take away from the chocolate or the hazelnut. So you want a nice neutral oil. I'm using canola oil um, just to thin out the chocolate and that'll help kind of incorporate it with the hazelnuts. So let's go ahead and mix that in. I'm gonna add it to the food processor. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract and some powdered sugar. Now the reason I'm using powdered sugar is the powdered sugar will incorporate a lot faster than if you were to use granulated sugar. And then we're just gonna puree it. And scrape down the sides. And you just wanna keep pureeing this until it's really nice and smooth. Oh yeah, this is looking really, really good. Okay, so we made our homemade Nutella. Now it's time for the crepes. Like I said, we're gonna make a traditional sort of European style crepe, both a sugar and Nutella one, and we're gonna make sort of like the American style of the same thing. So let's get to making the crepes. As I mentioned before, this recipe is brought to you by Fair and Up. Um, I'm using their French crepe mix. It's super cool. I really like it for a lot of reasons. One of the main reasons, if you've ever like used any sort of flour mix, any other brand of flour mix, accessing it is a major pain in the butt, right? It's so like, you know, you open up the package, gets everywhere as you're trying to pour out. So they have like this really like convenient pour, which makes it really, really nice. The thing that I really love about the Fair and Up mix is just how easy it is. It's simple, two ingredients, the mix and milk. Now that said, you can use whatever milk you want. You can use regular milk, and by that I mean conventional milk like cow's milk, or you can use almond milk or soy milk, hemp milk, whatever you want. Actually, if you're in a pinch, you can even use water. I've done that just to let you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my, the French crepe mix to a measuring cup here. Okay, so I said we measured out the Fair and Up mix. Now we're gonna add in our milk. Like I mentioned, you can actually use any kind of milk. You can use regular milk, almond milk, soy milk, whatever, whatever you need to 
whatever you prefer. Go ahead and add that in. Now we're just gonna mix it all. Okay, so the crepe batter is made. Now I'm just gonna prepare the crepe pan with a little bit of cooking spray so that way the crepes don't stick. The pan is heated up and now we're ready to start making our crepes. Okay, so the crepe is cooking. Now, if you're used to making pancakes, but maybe not crepes, one distinct difference is when pancakes are cooking, you start to get those bubbles through the top. That heavier batter doesn't really lift up, and so you just get the tiny bubbles that sort of start to pop up towards the top, letting you know that it's ready. With crepes, the batter is a lot thinner, a lot lighter, so you don't quite get those bubbles. You get like these just giant steam pockets, as you can kind of see, lifting up and like popping out. And those steam pockets, as it starts to like bake, you'll start to see the edges just curl up just a little bit. And that's when you know the crepe is almost ready. You can see right here, it's a little bit of curl. It's easy to move from the pan. You can kind of take a little bit of a peekaboo. It's not quite there yet. Okay, so the crepe is ready to flip. I'm gonna use, I like to use this little kind of long skinny silicone spatula. You can use whatever you prefer, but I find it really easy to kind of get under the whole crepe. And there you go, flipped. Now to make a few more. Okay, so our crepe is ready. Now I'm just gonna carefully remove it from the pan and we're gonna prepare the first one, which is a traditional just sugar crepe. So I have my crepe here. It's a little hot. <laughs> I'm gonna fill it with a little bit of sugar, maybe a little bit more. So these crepes, we're just gonna roll up. So what you do is just take it, fold it over, fold it over, and then carefully, it's a little hot, so it's a little hard to work with at first. And just carefully roll it up. Okay, so we did our traditional version of the rolled sugar crepe. Now we're gonna do the American version. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of melted butter. I'm just gonna brush the crepe with a little bit of butter. Nice and coated. And we're just gonna add in our sugar. Now another twist on this, you could also add in a little bit of cinnamon. It's not uncommon to get a butter, sugar, and cinnamon crepe here in the States. But for this one, we're just gonna keep it pretty simple. So once again, we're just gonna roll it. Fold it over and just tightly roll it up. There you go. Okay, so the next one we're gonna make, I'm really excited about because we're gonna use our homemade Nutella. So let's have another crepe. Let's take our Nutella, put that on the put that on there, and just carefully spread it out there. Crepe's a little hot, but it helps the Nutella melt, so it works out well. Get last little bit of Nutella on there. And then this one you fold differently. You don't actually roll it. You're gonna kind of fold it like a pizza. So you fold it in half. And you fold it one more time. So it's kind of like a slice of pizza. So one of the main differences really between the traditional style and the American style is how you fold them. So when it comes to the Nutella crepe, you kind of fold it more like a pizza. The next version that we're gonna do, the American style, you don't fold it as many times, you only fold it twice, but you dust it off with a little bit of powdered sugar, which you don't do in the traditional version. So let's get our Nutella spread out there. So we're just gonna fold it in half. So unlike the traditional version, we're not going to do that third fold. We're just going to keep it in that kind of quarter uh, crepe space. And that's all it takes to fold those two different versions. The traditional version of the sugar crepe, the traditional version of the Nutella crepe, the American sugar crepe, and the American Nutella crepe. Now, like I said, there's one final difference is that we actually are going to dust them with powdered sugar. It's going to 
dust them off. We like our powdered sugar in America. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing to the rolled crepe. Just gonna get some powdered sugar on there. And that's all it takes. Now you know the perfect way to prepare crepes. So like I said, if you're making the traditional sugar crepe, what do you do? You add sugar and you roll it, but don't put powdered sugar on top. If you're making the American style, brush it with some melted butter, add a little bit of sugar, cinnamon's okay, roll it up, dust it off with some powdered sugar. For the traditional version of the Nutella crepe, and I showed you how to make your own Nutella, right? That was pretty awesome. So for that version, fill it with Nutella, fold it once, fold it one more time, and then a third time so it's kind of like a slice of pizza. Do not put powdered sugar on it. For the American version, same exact thing, except for you're just gonna fold it once, fold it twice, that's it. So it's more of a quarter of a crepe than a slice of pizza. And then you dust it off with a little bit of powdered sugar. So now you know how to make traditional crepes, American crepes, whether it's sugar, Nutella, and you know how to make your own Nutella. How cool is that? Okay, you guys, so once again, check out the Farin' Up stuff. Like, they have pancake mixes. In fact, if you want, you can look on my channel and you will find a ton of amazing pancake art using this mix. Well, not this one, this is the crepe mix, but using the pancake mix. But check out this crepe mix, makes it really super easy to make delicious crepes anytime that you want them. You just add milk or almond milk or whatever you wanna add. Like I said, you can also add water if you want. It's up to you, it still works out well in a pinch. Check them out, go to their website. So that's it, so that's all it takes to make those delicious, delicious crepes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, hey, drop a comment below. And if you like to cook like I do, please subscribe. I release new recipes every single week. And once again, be sure to check out Farin' Up. I'll see you guys next time.